Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're gonna make a video on a frequency counter. Uh, so I have a frequency counter right here that is rated from frequency from all the way from 0 0.1 uh, about uh, 125 5 hertz to all the way up to 120 megahertz and then I'm going to generate frequency using my function generator uh, so my function generator I'm going to connect both of these devices with a BNC connector on both sides so I'll be able to measure the frequency and also the period of the frequency as well uh, the setup is quite simple I'm just going to simply connect this uh, the output of my function generator to my frequency counter uh, there's nothing much to it uh, except for generating the frequency and just looking and observing it uh, normally we can use a cable that looks something like this as well where you have alligator clips let's say if you have a circuit and you want to just look at your circuit and measure the frequency because on the other hand you have a BNC connector that you can connect it using your uh, to connect your frequency and you can connect it on to this these two probes to your circuit and you can look at the frequency as well uh, the setup is quite simple uh, so we have a BNC that is connected to my frequency uh, counter I'm just gonna simply turn them off turn them on both of the devices uh, let's just wait for it to and we're gonna look at the frequency so right now as you can clearly see I have frequency that is 25 kilohertz uh, 25, 1, 2, 3, 25,000 kilohertz. Uh, waveform is somewhere around a sinusoidal wave, and the frequency that I'm getting is about 24.998. Uh, you can see two lights are blinking. Uh, one for K is highlighted. Uh, K it means kilo uh, and hertz, so kilohertz. A uh, couple of things that you need to know uh, regarding frequency counter you have something called gate time. Gate time is the time. Uh, how frequently this is going to upgrade I mean, how frequently is going to count if you have a gate time of 0.1 the counting is being done 0.1 uh, 0.1 second if you have one second the update of these frequency counting mechanism is about one second so for example when I've changed the frequency now you will see this blink uh, this gate frequency uh, is blinking after one second when you change this to 10 seconds it, this blink will happen after 10 seconds that's the basic idea regarding gate time. You can also observe the frequency and the period as well. So for example, as you can see, it happened after 10 seconds. Now let's change the frequency. Let's go to frequency and let's change this to 10, 50 kilohertz. You won't see the immediate effect because my gate time is about 10 seconds. But having a gate time lower, uh, you will immediately see the, uh, you will immediately see the effect. As you can see, K and H is highlighted. Let's change this frequency again. Let's leave the gate time to about one second. And let's change this frequency to one megahertz. One megahertz. So one megahertz, as you can see, uh, this was updated after one, uh, one second. So this is, as you can see, 999.995 kilohertz, which means almost one mega. All right, the mega is not highlighted. Let's try it. Let's try like about 25 mega or something like that. Will I be able to generate? So 25 mega. Now you can see this thing is highlighted. Uh, this thing is start. Uh, there is a light which is megahertz. And I can also look for the frequency as well, uh, period as well. So just by clicking the frequency uh, period, you can see that is 40. That's for milli. That's for micro. That's for nano, nanosecond. So milli, micro, nanosecond. So it's about 40 uh, nanoseconds. Uh, so let's just quickly do the calculation. Period is one over, uh, frequency is one over T. So one divided by, uh, one divided by frequency is period. So one frequency is 25 mega, 25, 10 to the six. And that would give me around 40 nanoseconds because if I move this one, one time, it will be 40 and 40 times 10 to the negative nine which is four times 10 to the negative eight. So this is how you actually calculate the frequency and you can confirm it uh, using your frequency counter. Uh, this is a very important thing, like when you're working on your circuit and you wanna find out what is the frequency, you need a device like frequency counter to actually uh, uh, to look for the frequency that you're looking for. So you'll be able to look at the period. Also at the same time, you'll be able to see what is the frequency of operation. 
I hope you like this small video. If you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.